So you, you said at the beginning, maybe before we talk about the film, Rain Dance is almost your home. Maybe you could explain your relationship with Rain Dance and Elliot Grove as well. Um, yeah, well, um, during my time in London, uh, uh, 21 years ago, I, I met uh, 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 Elliot through a friend of mine from university, Jamie Greco. And um, basically, uh, the whole uh, setup was uh, pretty basic. And we did all the um, uh, workshops. And uh, actually, I did as an editor. I was working as an editor in Soho at the time. Um, I helped to do the first trailers for uh, BIFA Awards. I never believed that it's going to be anything. Uh, uh, big or whatever, and so uh, the first Beef Awards we we did was uh, you know everybody was there. Ken, I met Ken Loads uh, yeah. on on that day, and, uh, yeah. so uh, and then later I did all the workshops. This this film is uh, sort of a low to no budget workshop uh, model, yeah. um, so um, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we'll come to the audience in a second, but I think I'll just start it rolling. Um, I think, you know, it was very touching, well, Doug, it was a very, very nice piece, and one of the most striking things about it was the imagery and, and the, the landscapes that you filmed, and what's the process of finding your locations in those perfect landscapes to film? Um, the landscapes uh, you see is uh, around my hometown. It's the, the places I've been as a young kid. And uh, basically, I, I'm fresh in Greece after uh, my years abroad. And uh, I found this uh, wonderful cinematographer, Jan Vogel, uh, who basically saw all these landscapes for the first time. So he, his view was very fresh and very sort of... Uh, uh, unique, uh, um, so uh, uh, we shot it in a almost documentary style, um, and uh, uh, we improvised a lot. Uh, we had a very basic script, and um, um, yeah, so um, all these places I, I love uh, from when I was a kid. So. There, there seems to be a strong like presence between nature and the business side. And maybe you could explain the sort of the contrast in the film for us. Yeah, um, yeah we wanted to build uh, the cityscape uh, in a way that it looks not like normal Athens. Not, uh, we wanted to have this city that is next to the sea, uh, lots of palm trees, and. To look, to look like almost like a paradise for this woman who stays in this flat. Uh, but this flat obviously becomes uh, uh, a, a place where, where technology and all these uh, uh, things that our hero has a, a, has a dilemma um, to become her uh, hell, basically, the the place where she she, she finds uh, um, herself, like she realizes that she's been in this place for such a long time, um, uh, and uh, she feels that she, she lives in this wonderful flat with this beautiful view, um, and it's kind of a metaphor of how Greece is at the moment. You feel that you are you live in this wonderful country. Everybody says it's always oh, a beautiful country, but at the same time, uh, there is a genocide going on. You know, people uh, jump from these wonderful uh, landscapes, and they uh, we have eighteen every eighteen hours we have someone uh, suicide. So it's it's kind of a uh, it's a cruel place to be. Yeah. It's a wonderful cruel place to to live. So. Um, so that's what we wanted to bring into this picture. And um, it was quite a harsh representation of the Greek, uh, Greek atmosphere. Um, was that sort of what inspired you to make the full feature? Or? Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the econo economic crisis. Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah. 
Um, there's, uh, I mean, there's no way uh, to not to be inspired by economic crisis. <laughs> because of the economic crisis, we, we resist and make these films still. Because there's a general devaluation of people. Mm. Like, we don't, you know, oh, you, you, your value is nothing, and uh, uh, you're fired, and, and uh, you, you have to live with uh, nothing. Um, and uh, so it, it's important, there's a big explosion of art at the moment, uh, poetry, music, film, and obviously there is a lot of interest from abroad. Uh, so I, I know a lot of friends in Greece that their work became really much better since the economic crisis because, I don't know, you've got more time, yeah. Uh, people people travel with their work and they see and they like myself now. I'm traveling abroad with the film, and uh, you know, is a is a eye opener, you know. Um, so um, so yeah. So is is uh, and going back to the to the previous question, um, it becomes very very important the question um, nature or going back to um, countryside because of the economic reasons or staying and fight for for your life or s to survive um, so um, a lot of people moved out of Athens and uh, a lot of people uh, self reflect uh, their lives because obviously all these people who chasing the carrot and chasing uh, uh, money and they uh, now they are sort of f have to find something else yeah. and this something else uh, you know uh, is uh, reflecting in people's uh, uh, art yeah. well um, I'm gonna ask the audience now if they have any questions and can I just get I'll run up the microphone to you very quickly uh, we'll go here first. Cheers. Um, you mentioned early, early on, uh, or first to say, sort of, you know, I uh, uh, really enjoyed that film. It's a, it's a film that manages to take us into somebody's head and sort of explore that life. And I think that's, that's a remarkable achievement. To get this this coherence, so that it's like a real person, and we, we discover that. You mentioned it sort of comes out of a, a sort of collective approach of work, working in a workshop. Also, can you talk a little bit more about that? Who's contributed to this? Maybe from the original idea onwards, sort of how the film was made, and sort of in terms of organization, finance, and so on. Yeah. Um, pretty chaotic in the first place, uh, but uh, 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 my background is uh, the London Filmmakers Corp and obviously Rain Dance. And uh, well, obviously, we had very little money. A friend of mine who's doing really well in business gave me some money, and, and we just thought uh, uh, we're gonna make this film. And obviously, it was for a proper production, it was probably for one day shoot. Uh, so nobody, no, none of the well-established producers would, would touch this film. Uh, first time director, uh, made a lot of uh, work in editing, has very little money to make this film. So, so we kind of turned it around. We said, okay, we're just going to do this Athens Filmmakers Corp, where everybody's going to contribute in this, uh, especially in the shooting. Um, and... We, we had very, very, um, it was, most of it was labor of love. Um, uh, the protagonist, Alexandros, is he, st is he here, Alexandros? No, sorry. Uh, he's uh, um, basically, uh, we, we use his car, his flat, his father, uh, legendary <laughs> actor he plays. Um, and uh, his wife playing was, was pregnant. She's playing uh, the role. Uh, so uh, you know, every single person has dis uh, contribute their 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 work and their time. 
and uh, I basically the north of, in north of Greece. Um, all these people playing in north of Greece are friends and they are amateur actors. Um, so um, so yeah, so it's it's um, we sort of organized it in a not in a traditional way. It was it was. Uh, Kind of um, um, every single person will bring something. Uh, Jan Vogel, who is the cinematographer, um, he made a, a film, a very a very good film before, uh, co directed and shot. It's called uh, Wasted Youth. So he had all this background of of uh, independent, truly independent film, and uh, obviously I I come from editing. Uh, background, um, which helps you a little bit to to be economic uh, in your shoot, and um, um, so uh, so yeah, we we made a very economic and very sort of uh, tight production in order to to do this. So um, and we were very lucky, uh, really lucky. Uh, every time we were missing something, it uh, was some magic going on and. Just uh, you can't make too many films like this. I think we you can make two or three, and then you run out of luck, probably. Uh, uh, just just to com complete that, um, is it very much based on one script and sort of your vision for the film that you develop beforehand? Yes. Or because you're talking about the essence filmmakers collective and how far was this sort of evolving from the process? There is a true story uh, about an antenna being in a, uh, being in a flat uh, discovered by a friend of mine, uh, a lawyer, um, a few years back. So that's, that was a true story. Another story that I researched a lot uh, is the, the so-called Greek Gate, which is the hacking scandal happened back in 2005 and I did uh, extensively uh, res uh, research on it. Uh, I spoke to the family of the person who actually so-called suicide by hanging himself in 2005. Uh, that's a crime that I was never sort of uh, uh, resolved. Um, and also, uh, we realized that the political part of the story, which is to do with hacking and everything else, and government, and company, corruption, and all this, is a kind of never-ending story, and goes back to a really basic, very basic thing of greed. So, uh, wasn't that in interesting. To us, we, we wanted to be more with the people, uh, this woman and her struggle, and uh, the protagonist who is basically has to decide to pay his economic debt or to pay his moral debt. So we 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 did some uh, script writing uh, 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 sessions with the actors. <coughs> That's how we worked uh, with the cinematographer Jan. So collectively, basically, we developed the script, and collectively we we made uh, we we planned the production. So there's a lot of uh, experience behind it, uh, in a way, um, because we wanted to. We didn't have much. Uh, space for error, so we had to be hit uh, every time uh, the, at the right moment. So um, I'm not sure if I answer your question, but yes, you did very well. And sort of, it, it sort of explains that most strong image. Sort of when they're all standing there looking at the, yeah. the technicians, uh, um, you know. So I think you should come back to a rain dance and do some workshops. Sort of how you work with actors to get this kind of result. Thank you. Yeah. And yes, yes. Uh, hey, a little bit of a political question. Um, 
that scene in the end that Carl just mentioned, where you know all the residents of the building kind of stare down the two guys from the company, um, is that something that you feel is going on or has gone on in Greece, or is it something you hope will happen in Greece in terms of what it what it stands for? Yeah, great question. Um, yeah, well, uh, it's it's a kind of it's the audience revelation, like uh, John Truby way. Uh, uh, but uh, at the same time, um, uh, I I really uh, this this is the image that is driving the film. We we knew uh, we start from the end. That that's the end of the film, and we and and I knew that. And once I knew that. That's how we um, were confident that we driving the film towards that, and um, that's what I am hoping for a, a, a sort of uh, a silent, peaceful resistance. Uh, because I, I I feel the majority, the silent major majority in every country, uh, hasn't got much. To say in demonstrations, or even in polls, you know, uh, but is driving some somehow, uh, at least in democratic countries. That I believe uh, UK uh, is. Uh, I don't. I don't feel in Greece that we are in a democratic society at the moment. I feel this. Uh, there is a. Um, uh, there is a sort of a dicta underlying dictatorship underneath. Um, so, uh, uh, so yeah, I, I really feel that, uh, and I really hope of this solution. Uh, so it's a kind of, uh, yeah, that's, it's, it, it's like a dream sequence in the end, you know, it's always almost like a dream sequence. Yeah, There's some great questions, really, really interesting stuff. Um, I think because there were such good questions, I might just ask you one more, and it may have been covered. Uh, but if there's one thing that you really want an audience to take away from this film, what would you want that to be, and what would you want them to take? Oh, um, I, I'm a great believer that every single person should uh, read the film uh, the way they wanted to read it, and we uh, certainly didn't want to um, uh, spell out anything. Uh, um, uh, to be honest, uh, it's, it's up to uh, anyone to, to, to get uh, what, what they, they can get from the film. Uh, um, you know, uh, in the university we always were called, you know, let your film talk, and, you know, you do, you do the, you've done your talk uh, in the shooting, so, uh, so yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming thank and talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.